Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if this is your first time visiting the channel and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Downmore 12 Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Downmore Distillery is located in Alnus in the Highland region of Scotland. This Highland single malt spent the first nine years of its aging process housed in ex-bourbon barrels. Before half of the whiskey is separated out, one half of the whiskey remains in ex-bourbon barrels, while the other half is aged in Oloroso sherry butts for the remaining three years. The two halves of the Downmore 12 are then brought back together to create the finished product. The Downmore 12 is a Highland single malt scotch whiskey. It's a 12-year age-stated single malt with a 40% ABV, 80 proof with an MSRP of around $55 to $65. Before we get into checking out the bottle, I kind of want to read the backstory on the box right here. Pretty cool backstory to this whiskey. The Downmore's heritage dates back to 1263 when an ancestor of the clan Mackenzie, owners of the Downmore distillery for over a century, saved King Alexander III from the fury of a charging stag. In recognition of this noble act, the grateful king granted the clan Mackenzie the right to use the 12 point stag representing a royal in their coat of arms. This striking icon has since adorned each bottle of the Downmore, symbolizing the Downmore Distillery's regal legacy. Pretty cool backstory on the box to the whiskey. Let's check out the bottle for a second. All right, the iconic Downmore bottling. Definitely a cool bottle. You cannot deny the Downmore for that. Got the nice stag right here. This is plastic, but I think in some of your higher end bottles like the King Alexander III. This is actually a piece of metal instead of plastic. This one here is plastic. On top of the cork, it's got the stag. Front labeling, very simple. Just says the Downmore, it's the 12 year age stated Highland single malt right there. But as far as the bottling goes, how do you not like that? It's definitely a cool bottle. The box that comes in, it is cardboard of course, but it does have like a leather leathery texture to the to the cardboard definitely cool box and cool bottling on the downmore's part with that being said let's get into the color nose and taste of this whiskey all right guys before we get into the color this is not natural color they are using e150 but the coloring on this is a nice deep amber maybe a bronze tint to the whiskey let's roll it around the glass and see how viscous and oily the whiskey is it does seem to be fairly viscous, fairly oily. I'd say medium viscosity. The legs are kind of medium and they are running fast. So it's not super viscous or super oily, but fairly nice viscosity on the whiskey. That being said, let's get into the nose. Right away, you're getting the sherry influence, a little raisin. has a nuttiness to it, maybe like a uh, an almond. You know, like an almond, it has an almond presence to the nose. It is very approachable. Uh, it's not jumping out of the glass by no means. I would say it's kind of a light nose. Maybe uh, some cinnamon. The raisins are definitely coming through. Maybe a little bit of like a caramel also, or a, maybe a toffee note. Very light, approachable nose on the whiskey. Once again, raisins, a little cinnamon or a baking spice, a little caramel. Maybe getting a little presence of the oak also. Maybe a little, maybe a hint of like cocoa or chocolate. Not a super complex nose, very light and approachable. Once again on the nose, you're getting a nice almond, cinnamon, a little raisin, a little bit of the oak presence and the sherry presence is definitely there. But overall light, a real light oak note also, but very light approachable nose on the whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. 
Nice velvety, creamy texture to the whiskey. Get some raisins on the front of the palate. A little bit of raisins and chocolate. Chocolate's definitely there. On the finish, it's like lingering toffee vanilla on the first sip. I say finish is probably a medium finish at best on the first sip. Nice first sip. It is very approachable whiskey, easy sipper. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. In front of the palate, chocolate and raisins. Chocolate's definitely there now. Mid palate, getting a little bit of that almond sense that we got on the nose with a little bit of like baking spice and it's kind of the vanilla is getting lingered into the finish with a nice toffee note the finish still middle of the row at best but there is a nice lingering toffee note once again easy sipper it is a little thin but it is 80 proof also nice second sip it's going for a third Cheers. Very consistent whiskey, not over complex. Raisins, chocolate up front. Get a nice like allspice or baking spice mid palate. Some almond. And the finish is a lingering toffee, almond, vanilla bean note. Nice third sip, very nice approachable whiskey, easy sipper. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Dalmore 12 year. Guys, it's a decent pour of whiskey. Without a doubt, you cannot take that away from the Dalmore 12 year. You just can't. It is coming in at a low 40% ABV, 80 proof. And is there offerings out there that deliver more depth richness and complexity for as the same amount or less absolutely absolutely the arbor lore 12 the glendronic 12 year is absolutely phenomenal your mccallan 12 just to name a few that surpass the down more with at the same price range or even lower now the, as far as value goes I, me personally, I do not think this is a great value pour. Do I think it is a good pour? It's decent. It is decent pour of whiskey. Cannot take that away from a Downmore 12. It is a decent offering. But are there better, more value-driven pours out there? Without a doubt. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I want to thank you for your support. If you're not a subscriber, hey subscribe until next time guys cheers